So your three winners, naturally, they lead the early season FedEx Cup standings. Rice and Hudson Stewart, one through three. The race is uh, early, but they are off and running as they all look to get to Eastlake come next August. For more on one of the early season winners, teen it up this week at the Sanderson Farms Championship. We say hello to our Lisa Cornwell, who has more on Stewart Sink. Yeah, Burko, and you just mentioned it. What a week that was for Stewart Sink. Now, we're here in Jackson, Mississippi, not quite Napa Valley, but I can tell you the weather so far, absolutely beautiful, and it's supposed to stay that way, fingers crossed, throughout the week. But you mentioned the gap between Sink's wins. How about this? 243 starts between the Open Championship and what he did in the Safeway Open. And how about that Reagan on the bag? It was an emotional moment. You heard the interview with Phil Blockmar afterwards, had his entire family. And how about this? Reagan is back on the bag this week. Now, Stewart hasn't played a lot of golf here in Mississippi, and he, the times that he has, it hasn't been really probably what he wanted. But you have to think that this is a player riding a lot of momentum and really having a good time right now, 47 years of age, and again, with his son on the bag. You mentioned another headliner. How about from one Open champion to another? Henrik Stinson, 44 years of age. He captured the Claret Jug back in 2016. Now, everybody's been asking, where's Henrik Stinson been? But you'd only have to go back to December when he stepped in the winner's circle in the Hero World Challenge, and what a field that was. Now, for Stinson, he hasn't played a lot of golf in 2020, but could this be a good sign coming off his best finish last week in Punakana and hoping maybe to ride that momentum? You have to think this could possibly be a good spot for him. It's a ball striker's uh, golf course. It really puts a premium on iron play, and, of course, Henrik Stinson, one of the best in the business at that. And you have to think playing this early will we start seeing more of Henrik Stinson uh, throughout the rest of the year and, and a lot early in 2020, Burko, 2021. Yeah, off and running, certainly some of the big names and notables in the field this week, Lisa. Looking to rebound from a very tough season, including that man, Henrik Stenson. Take a look at some others, Bill Haas, Sergio Garcia, stalwarts making it to Eastlake year in and year out. So like Lisa said, maybe trying to get a jump start on this new season as Trip Eisenhower now joins us. And how critical is it for some of these world-class players to get off to a good start here early in this uh, fall portion? Yeah, I, I think it is. I mean, Stuart Sink is is the one who, who's you know obviously shown the way that you're not you're ageless in this game to a certain extent. But um, the the other thing too is I, I think some of this was the the stoppage and 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 what happened this year. Uh, this is not a usual year in any way. So players are having to deal with a lot of different things. And usually you've got to remember the, the bigger name players, they don't mess around much with the fall part of the schedule. They, they have to now more by the way the tours uh, space this schedule out for it all the way around. But they normally make most of their, their hay in between those majors. And we've only had two majors so far. We're only going to have three in 2020. So that's normally what those guys do. And they catch back up with the bigger point events that we didn't have this year. So I think that's why we're seeing some of that. But if you look at some of you know their games, I mean, Bill Haas has just not been the same since that unfortunate car accident. My gosh, I couldn't imagine going through something like that. And it has had an effect on his game. When I've watched Bill play, the physical part seems to be there, but it's just a couple of missed shots here or there, and the confidence just saps out of him. Uh, I've seen that a couple of times that I've followed Bill Haas when I've been on the road covering live events. So that is the aspect of that. And, and, and I do think, though, that these players now are going to get back to more of a sense of normal now that we have a schedule. And these guys are just too good for a reason, and I don't think they'll be on that outside looking in too long. Yeah, Lisa just talked about Henrik Stenson. He didn't play a lot of golf. He was one of the last to sort of return after the break. What do you think it might take for him to just re-jump some yeah. type of form? Well, he start, you know, he hadn't had a top 20, but he only played six events in 2020. Okay, so we got to give, you know, a little bit there. He only played six times. He did miss a couple of cuts, but I, he, he, it's uh, for him. I think it's getting back into a regular playing rhythm and getting into that because, again, you, when you're that talented and you're that solid a ball striker, as Lisa alluded to, it's just a matter of time. And this could be the week that he finally gets back in the hunt. I, I don't know if he's going to win, but uh, he certainly could. Not saying that, but I, I think he, this is a tight golf course that he could get in the hunt here, and that'll get his juices flowing again to be, you know, heading into the Masters with some confidence. Henrik 
Stenson missed the cut at Wingfoot. Early on Saturday morning, I was on the range. Before the sun was up, there was one person hitting golf balls. It was Henrik Stenson yep. working with his longtime instructor, Pete Cowan. Yeah. So you get a sense that he knows he wants i got to put some work in yeah. and he's willing to certainly do that. Sergio Garcia in the field this week in Jackson. And for the first time since the WGC Bridgestone Invitational in August of 2011, he will be outside the world top 50. Garcia is currently ranked 51st and has been inside the top 50 for 20 of the past 21 years. He's also one of just five players to spend more than 1,000 weeks inside the world top 50. His recent results have showed very little form. He's missed three of four cuts, tied for 66 at the Wyndham Championship. So. The question now with Sergio Garcia, how does he try to get back to yeah. what we know? He's a major champion. Over a thousand weeks trip. That is mind boggling to be inside the top 50, mm -hmm. but he's going the wrong way. He's in his early 40s, a couple of young kids at home. Priorities change. Yeah, they do. And, and I think that that's probably what it is. You know, it, you, you definitely have a different perspective when you have children. Anyone who has children knows that, that they certainly give you a, a sense of perspective. But at some point, I think that Sergio will start to get a little bit of the fire back. And I think it's just a matter of him get, seeing some good play, which he has not seen. I mean, he's coming off his worst ever ball striking uh, as far as strokes gained approach shots at the U.S. Open. He lost over 3.41 shots for that those two days, and that's one of the worst he's ever had uh, on the PGA Tour. So he, he's just not having any form right now. And the, if you look at him really since the 26-17 Masters win, he's only had uh, nine top tens on the PGA Tour. He has won in, in Europe, well, he won twice in Europe and once in Asia. But other than that, I mean, it has been a lot of miscuts for Sergio and un-Sergio-like play. He's one that I think is on that tipping edge of, okay, I got to get motivated like, like Henrik Stenson and getting back to the way I know I can play golf. Because Sergio is that talented and his ball striking acumen, like Henrik Stenson's, you would think this could be a good golf course that it could click. And I do think it's a matter of clicking along with some hard work and motivation away from the away from the course will certainly help. And I think it's great to see big names, major champions in these fall yeah, events. Really it elevates it is. what this portion of the season is like on the PGA Tour.